Hello there, welcome back to a new top 10 on my channel. Today, we will be talking about the most underrated Switch game of them all, 1-2 Switch. And you probably noticed that I said we will and not I will, and that's because I'm here with Mr. Bengtsson. Hello everyone, it's me, the Swedish guy, the Mori guy, the top 10 guy. Yep, that's him. So yeah, want to Switch? We know what you're thinking. You really need to make a video about that game. Well, yeah. I mean, we liked the game, and we went through a fun time doing all the minigames. True. I'm bugging my parents and my sister to play it with me every weekend. It's just that, this game is really fun and will be for a long time. In my opinion, at least. Yeah, and we don't care what people say it's a bad game because, well, it isn't. So, how are we going to present this to our lovely viewers? Well, it's simple. This list is based off how fun the minigames are, and how much we like to play it again, and again, and again. You probably get it. Remember that this is based on our opinion, so don't get upset if you don't see minigames on here that you like. Instead you can use the comments to make your own list. There were some minigames which almost made it on the list, like baseball or ball count. Without further ado, let's do this. There are a few minigames in 1 2 Switch in which you need to stay focused in order to not screw them up. One of them is Joy Con Rotation. In this minigame, you need to set your Joy Con down, then, once the computer says it's your turn, you need to pick it up and rotate it as much as possible without shaking too much with your hand. Otherwise, it will count as 0 degrees that turn. You need to do this 3 times, and who rotates the Joy Con the most wins. There are several strategies for this minigame. One of them is to set down your Joy Con in such a way to then be able to rotate it as much as possible in one turn. One tip for this minigame is to rotate your body as you rotate the Joy Con. That way, you might end up with more degrees than if you do it without rotating your body. You can also try to scare off your opponent to let them shake their hand, which grants them zero degrees. I know that's very mean, but it works. So, definitely not the most fun minigame. I mean, duh, but it's definitely worth playing. You're probably gonna be like, hey Bjorn, that shouldn't be on the list. It's just dancing. But no one cares. So, at number 9, we have Copy Dance. Okay, before we move on, why does this have a 5 jalapeno rating? It's not that intense. Anyway, we know that this is just a simple copy thing minigame, but it does work pretty good and the rating is fair. You get points for your poses, energy, and timing. And if you get an A for all three, you will probably win. Unless your opponent also has all A's, which probably won't happen, but it could. Also, is it just me, or is it really hard to come up with original and hard to copy dance poses? Well, I don't know. I think it's just you, but maybe not. I mean, you hold your Joy-Con in your hand, so the poses are kind of limited. Oh well, whatever. Dance, stop, dance, stop. Dance and stop. That's right, we're talking about Dance Off. Probably the most intense minigame on this list. At least that's when you try to go for 10,000 points. Yeah, I tried that, okay? So this minigame is very simple. You have three turns to dance to your heart's content, and after a short time each turn, you need to stop and stay as still as possible. Otherwise, well, this happens. Yeah, the computer basically gets grumpy and mad at you for not stopping. So. We have a good strategy for you to get very very close to the 10,000 points. When you need to dance, just swing your arms as much as possible and when you need to stop, just lean your arm on a surface to not let it move or shake or whatever you wanna call it. It definitely helped with me because I got really close to the 10,000 points. Look at these screenshots. Look at them. That's very close. So yeah, definitely an intense minigame and pretty fun. Up, down, left, right, or down, up, right, left. Yes, it's time for single flags. So in this minigame, you need to listen carefully to the male and female instructors. When the female says left, you point your icon to the left. And when the male says left, well, the opposite. That's basically how this game works. So yeah, it's pretty simple, but it's a fun mechanic. Not the most fun, but it works and it's definitely worth playing sometimes. By the way, do you also think that the male is talking really unclearly? Yeah, sometimes, but I mean, left and right, they are pretty easy to sort if you know what I mean. And the same with up and down. Yeah, I guess that's true. 
anyway, let's move on. Ready, steady, and no, it's not quick draw. Also, it's not fake draw, but samurai training. In this minigame, you take turns in swinging with a sword and clapping to catch the sword. And again, it's a really easy concept, but it is a fun minigame with a nice Japanese twist to it, which fits very well. There are three types of people in this minigame. Here is a small list. <coughs> Number one, the clapper. This person needs to clap when the opponent swings his sword, but does so all the time and ends up losing the game. Number two, the swinger, version one. This person swings immediately after the little drum session ends, trying to confuse the opponent and winning the game, which 90% of the time won't work. Number three, the swinger, version two. This person waits a very long time after the little drum session ends, trying to confuse the opponent and winning the game, which 90% Wait, you literally said this 10 seconds earlier. I don't care. Anyway, that was our list. We hope you enjoyed it. Now on with the video. Please let us know what type of person you are in the comments. I am 50% number 2 and 50% number 3. Good for you. Anyway, let's go to number 5. But there only are three types of- oh wait, never mind. At number 5 we have Beach Flag, the second most intense game on this list. Because you need to run like- <laughs> Which can be really exhausting. Oh come on, you're just lazy. Sorry for that. Really? Time to move on. If you are an impatient person, you probably won't really like this minigame. Because you have to wait before you can start running like- <laughs> Dude, stop with those jokes, I don't know. Let's be honest, they're funny, okay? Yeah, kinda. Anyway, in this minigame you got two types of people. Ahem, <clears throat> one, the m This person only shakes his or her hands, which makes him or her look like a dirty person. Number two. The runner. This person does not only shake their hands, but runs instead. These people are the more normal people. I'm sorry, we might have just insulted you there, but whatever. Let's move on. I'm quite jealous of your hair today. Well, thank you very much. Tomorrow. What do you mean by tomorrow? You know, the day after today? You know, the day before the day after tomorrow? Well, yeah, I'm not that stupid. Zen, the only minigame which 95% of the time I just lose. I'm just really bad at it. Really? I am like a pro at it? Really? No, just kidding. So in this game, you get a pose, you have to imitate it, and then stay as still as possible. If you have control issues, you might as well not play this game. But for other people, play it is definitely worth your time and really fun. Absolutely. Tick, tack, tick, tack, ring. Today we're playing telephone. We're coming really close to number one now, but first this one. So they took a very simple concept to a very, very awesome mini game. You just have to pick up your Joy-Con and say hello as soon as it rings. And after you played it the first time, you have to pick it up when you hear a specific ringtone. This is just a brilliant minigame and it's only number 3. And there are so many ways to make it harder. For example, have both players stand at a few meters away from the Joy-Cons, or set the Joy-Cons on a table and sit under the table so you have to stand up. Jeez a wheeze. It's a very simple minigame, like we said before, but it's so fun. And to think we're not even done with this list. Wowie. You ever just wanted to say the F word? Well, you can in this minigame, because it's time for the F's. Fake draw. Fruit. Fly. Friends. Flash. Form. Furry. Fur. File. Five. And fire! Those are all the ten words in this minigame. You're welcome. One thing to do that is really mean but really funny is to say fire early, so that your opponent thinks the game says fire, but it actually was you. It worked thrice for me with my cousin. It was hilarious. What is a little disappointing in this minigame is that fire can be said right away, which eliminates the fake out feeling, if you know what I mean. But honestly, if they wouldn't have made it like that, it would also be too unsurprising, because players almost never expect fire right away. When I was playing this game one day, there was one match in which a computer said six times file and then fire. It was so funny. Anyway. Let's get to number one. 
At number one, we have the slightly simpler cousin of Fake Draw, and also the most played minigame of them all. So, Quick Draw is a very simple game, but addicting. It's so short that you could play it over 50 games in an hour. Don't try that, by the way. But I want to, Sig. Anyway, in this minigame, wow, did we say that a lot. You just need to wait until the computer says fire, and then trigger the gun. Who triggered the gun the fastest wins. It's as simple as that, but the most fun minigame ever. There even are several world record attempts for this minigame. And the world record is, based off some YouTube research, 0 0.004 seconds. Correct us if we're wrong. I mean, we did see some comments saying, Hey, I got 0 0.001. But we don't believe those at all. Damn, that's pretty fast. My fastest time is 0.288 seconds. Compared to the world record, that is really, really bad. It's still pretty fast is within a third of a second. Anyways, this was our list. We hope you enjoyed. Like we said earlier, you can leave a comment on your top 10 minigames in 1-2-Switch. But before we completely end this video, I just have to make a small announcement. As you probably know, we are both Mario hackers. And what I want to say is that I made a One World hack containing all of my levels for the cancel hack other Super Mario Bros U. And I will be doing a two-part playthrough of the hack. So if you'd like to see a Mario hack, be sure to subscribe and click the notification bell to stay informed for all my upcoming videos. Anyway, this was the video, and we hope to see you later. Goodbye. Goodbye.